What's up, everyone? It's Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Georgia versus Florida college football matchup going down Saturday, October 29th, 2022. Before we get to that free pick, got to let you guys know, PickDogs.com, we're doing it bigger and better than anyone else. Got more free pick videos on our channel than you'll find anywhere else on YouTube, so make sure you're subscribed and also take advantage of our free sportsbook bonus offer. The link in the description of this video below. Also in the description of this video below, click the join button for more information on our YouTube VIP and premium passes. A great way to get yourself some premium content for an awesome price. Those VIP and premium passes will ensure that every single day you're getting plays from myself, Mitch, and Rod. It's one of the best values going in sports handicapping today. So make sure it's something that you check out, take advantage of, and keep in your back pocket. But let's get to this one. Between Georgia and Florida, some people call it the River City Showdown. The majority of us call it the world's largest outdoor cocktail party. But either way, whatever you call it, it is a fantastic SEC rivalry. As you've got the Georgia Bulldogs coming into this game with a record of 7-0 on the year, 4-3 and against the number after picking up a 55-0 win over Vanderbilt prior to their bye week. Meanwhile, the Florida Gators also had their bye week last time out and now sitting at 4-3 and on the year and 3-4 uh, and four against the number after losing 45-35 to to LSU. A game that, you know, I still have a little bit of a head scratcher as to why Florida was even laying points in that game, even if it was one and a half, but well, it is what it is, and the final result shows that. But now we move on here to this rivalry game, and like I said, it's just been an absolute war between these two teams. And, you know, the, the majority of the recent meetings, you know, they've been all over the place, you know, you know the, but I would say the majority is that that uh, George has won the game consistently at 4-1 against the spread. In the last five meetings between the two, the total sort of split 2-2-1 two, two, and one the last five meetings. And, uh, you know, Florida has had a history, you know, sometimes keeping these games somewhat close or even winning the game outright. But the issue that I have with Florida here is that, you know, I just don't trust Anthony Richardson to, to move the ball through the air. You know, he's got a 6-7 to seven touchdown to interception ratio, 56.5% completion percentage this year. And the strength, I think, of Florida is definitely running the football. And forcing this Florida offense to move the ball through the air is not something that they want to do, especially with uh, with Anthony Richardson. So I do expect Georgia to stack the box here and potentially make Florida try to beat uh, Georgia through you know pa a passing attack. But this is a Georgia defense that's top five in all team stats, fourth in total offense, fifth against the pass, fourth against the rush, second in scoring defense. On the other side, though, you got the Georgia you know, offense, who's been absolutely outstanding this year, and a you know a, a flip of the script compared to what Georgia's been in past years, where they were very good at you know at running the football. Now they're actually a better passing team this year, seventh in the country in passing, putting up just under 330 passing yards per game, second in total offense, eighth in scoring, putting up 41.7 points per game. I do think Georgia has a massive offensive day here, but we can't ignore the fact that Georgia does have Tennessee on deck. And that, if Tennessee is to beat Kentucky, will probably be for the right to play in the SEC title game, barring one of these teams slipping up. And I can't, you know, think that that this isn't at least a slight look ahead spot, even in a rivalry game for Georgia, because, like I said, it's going to be a lot of the marbles in the middle of the table next week, and you know, I, I, I got to think that Georgia's at least got one eye ahead to that game. So I do think Florida is capable of getting some points in this one. I think this is going to be more along the lines, you know, maybe a 41 to 17 or, you know, a 38 to 21 kind of game. I like the over 56 and a half here. I think Georgia probably wins this game fairly convincingly by multiple scores. It's just a matter of how much Florida is going to contribute to that. I do think they contribute enough to get us over the total. So give me the over 56 and a half here. And that's going to be my free pick. But if you're looking for best bets for myself or any of our other world-class handicappers, check out Pick Dogs Premium and use the promo code 15OFF, 15OFF, all one word, all lowercase, for 15% off your purchase at Pick Dogs Premium. And while you're at Pick Dogs, make sure you check out our free betting tools, some of the best betting tools in the business and tools that you'll want to have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and drop a like. Let's cash some winners.